What's up guys? Back for another one here. Just the car started up. I'm about to go finally get an alignment. It's been, what, four or five days since I put the lower control arm, subframe, brake ducts, um, what else? An 034 upper, huh, just look at that. So, I don't know if you guys can see, I don't know. Let's see if I can get it in. There's an airplane, see the spec in the middle of the screen? That's my airplane. I was literally working on that airplane this morning. That's funny. Um, that's crazy. Normally you can't see them from the house. I guess they're flying over town today. Anyway, um, time to get in alignment. I actually lowered the rear of the car like a week or so ago. Um, because when I took the back seats out, like the, it was kind of like the back end was sitting up because all the weight that was taken out. So I lowered the car a little bit in the back. I did uh, trailing arms. Well, I swapped out arms and then sent the guy back my stock arms, but the Super Pro bushings back there, lowered the car, and then, like I said, at the front with all that stuff. Uh, the car needs alignment. I'm going to take a little bit of camber out of the back. Um, hopefully, everything's camber-wise is even up front, but uh, we're out a little bit of toe. Make sure our toe out. Just make sure toe in general is good. Hopefully, camber is above two degrees now in the front. Uh, I think the rear was at, like, close to two and a half, like 2.3 or something. So we're gonna lower that back to like 1.8 in the back. Uh, I'm trying to get the, the rear really does, it sticks quite a bit. So I'm gonna take a little bit of camber out so that the rear does kind of give me a little uh, at autocross and stuff. Then so we got two autocross events this weekend, Saturday morning Lubbock, Saturday night Amarillo. And both of those cities are hundred miles from where I live. So it's gonna be hundred miles to one. Go there, race all morning and afternoon, drive hundred miles, do a tire rotation race again over there and then drive 100 miles back it's gonna be a very long saturday and then i have the racing line um what's it called coolant hose reroute so it's not so the coolant hose isn't sitting over my intake it's hideous that's coming in today my new 034 lower dog bone piece should be coming in today too since my apr one didn't fit this subframe since they're two different versions so a couple things going on here the next couple days uh, today's Thursday. Probably should be putting this video out tomorrow, but I'll show you guys the cooling hose and stuff once it gets here. Mail should be here in like an hour or so. Hopefully, the parts are here by the time I get back from getting the alignment. But let's get it. All right, back home now. Those dudes were super cool. Uh, got everything sorted out. My toe up front was like uh, 0.60 on each. My rear camber on this side was like two and a half. That side was three. So we got in the toe, I forget what the toe was for the rear, but we put the toe to 0 0.09 in and camber to 1.7 in the rear. Uh, my camber is off a little bit. I, I don't, I'm not exactly sure why, but it's 1.9 and 2.1 I think and 2.1 is about right to where it should be so he said I could come back another time and I'll bring the tools I need because I cut my strut tops but they're not I guess I could cut them more really either way or I could just drop the strut and move the camber plate over he said I could do that there at the shop and we'll get it that camber set proper so I'm going to bump that up to like 2.3 on each side in the front, but I'm gonna do that after I come back from California. And on that note, I'm going to California next week. Um, anyone going to Big SoCal, Euro, whatever it's called, I'll be going there, heading out uh, Thursday night, Friday morning next week. I'll be there till Monday, leaving Monday. I wanna go hit the canyons, hit the show. I wanna drink a beer on the beach, watch the sunset. Three main things I wanna do while I'm there. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna meet a bunch of people. If any of you guys are going, I'll be there, say hi. Car will probably be a little dirty. Uh, don't mind all the messed up, what's it called, clear coat from bugs and all the rock chips and stuff all over the car. But she's a track car. I mean, eventually, new hood, bumper, fenders, carbon fiber, and you know, chop up the bumper. The AC's going away. Get a nice big front mount, lip, or whatever you want to call it, splitter. In time, I'm not really worried about the way. The the car looks paint wise or anything it'll be wrapped and all this eventually in time but uh 
and go check the mail. Hopefully that stuff's here. I need to go to bed. I, mean, I really need to go to bed. I'm running on almost 21 hours now being awake, so I'm gonna quit rambling. I'll talk to you guys when the parts get here. Well, I guess only one of the packages wanted to show up today, but uh, the racing line cooling hose showed up. There's some real ugly clamps on there. Probably won't use those. Probably use the OEM clamps, but uh, now I won't have that ugly cooling hose over the intake. Finally. And for anybody wondering, this does have the one way valve in there. You can kind of see it. So you don't have to swap over yours from the stock hose like the APR hose. Nice. Clamp off there. Clamp off here. Relieve pressure here. Pull the line off. Put this one in. It sits like this. Oh, it's got a nice symbol there. I didn't even notice that. Hell yeah. That'll look nice. Very nice. How about that? OEM's clamps, OEM clamps still work. That looks real nice. Nothing laying over the intake anymore. No crazy bend to it. It's got a nice, like fitted. This is nice and loose, like nothing's tight. It's, it's good. It's very good. Uh, you're gonna need a towel or a catch box or something down there because you're gonna leak. Definitely gonna leak some. But uh, yeah, after that, get you some distilled water or some G12. That's about how much I lost. I was at the top line, so I fiddled with it a little bit. Get the, the angle to get this clamp on there was kind of dumb because I wanted to keep the black clamps instead of using the silver ones because I don't like the silver, which I need to swap. I want to like paint this one or something or do something with that. I don't I don't like that silver clamp and that silver clamp and that silver clamp. I need to get rid of them, but yeah, just fill her back up and you're good to go. Looks like we got a couple of packages. I actually bought a shirt from 8080 for their super giveaway and now the dog bone mount. So I'm gonna open up both real quick. It's a pretty nice shirt. I thought the logo would be bigger. It's thin, looks like it'll be nice and comfortable. But uh, what we came here for, boom. I'll show you guys the difference between the version one and two um, inserts, but this is definitely a different shape than my APR one. And uh, we're gonna go install it. Also got me another set of spark plugs, but uh, I got the other insert. This is the APR one. This is the O34. And so they're two different dog bone versions. So you can see the shape difference. This is version two. This is version one. My old subframe used version two. New subframe uses version one. Boom. The camera here, it's a 21 millimeter bolt and gets torqued to 130 uh, nm, or I think that translates to like 95 ish foot pounds. There we go, she's in. Five minute install. I got the upper. I don't know if you guys can even see it up in there. Maybe a little. I have the upper piece, it goes vertical, and then this piece. So, should be nice and sturdy now. Alright guys, well that's all I got for this video. By the time you're watching this, I'm at autocross. Um, I have a double autocross event this weekend. I'm sure I've already told you in this video, but this is what um, the morning autocross is like. It's more like a freaking road course. It says it's going to be pretty similar to this track. It's huge, and that's 15 laps. Like, that's, that's a lot. This is going to be a hell of a morning. And then uh, after that event, I get to go drive 100 miles chill out for a minute and then have another event. So it's gonna be a long day. Um, I have faith in the alignment. I have faith in all the parts that just went in. It's a lot of stuff to really test out at the same time. It's, yeah, just a lot. But I'm hoping the car feels the way I want it to feel. Finally get a little rotate from the back and just nice and stiff up front. Good turn in. Um, that's all I got. Uh, towards the first of the month, I'll be ordering a big brake kit. I'm still not 100% decided on what I'm gonna get, but uh, something, we'll see. And I said next weekend, going to California, so whew, a lot of stuff going on. Hopefully these tires don't get too destroyed tomorrow, all the way I still have some tread left to make it to Cali and back, but I'm definitely gonna have to order tires here soon too, so 
man. And then I need, like I said, I need front end links. I need a few other random bits. Lightweight battery. I still need to get the car corner balanced. Add a little bit more camera up front. So there's there's a few things still going on. Um, so I still have a whole list of mods I need to do. I want to get some of the ice sweep braces for the front and the rear. I want to get, like I said, a lightweight battery. Uh, all types of things. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for listening to me rant. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. And I'll catch you guys in the flip flop. Just looking so good though. Mm-mm-mm. Beautiful.